search or enter web address. Mm, I'm going to copy that. Damn, I can't copy it. Can't copy it. Can't copy it. <sighs> Have you ever been in a situation where you really wanted to copy the text on the screen, but you couldn't? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to do so. So normally, if you go to a website, most of the content is copyable. So over here where it says never miss a story, you simply highlight the text and then you can right click to do copy or you can do control C. And then simply open up a text editor and you can paste the content inside of the text editor. But certain content, you're not able to copy using copy and paste. For example, the search or enter web address. You can't copy it. And also up here where it says medium, a place to read and the, the title over here, you're not able to copy that as well. So how would you copy it? Well, what if you could just simply do this? Do command shift four and then draw a box around it to do a screenshot. And after screenshotting, you say done. And now open up a few lines and then you do control V. And now you've pasted search or enter web address. And how about over here where it says medium? A place to read and write big ideas and import and important stories. Well, what if you can just do a control shift four and then draw a box around it, do a screenshot, click on the screenshot, click done, just open up a few lines, and now do a control V. Oh, it doesn't work. How about control V? And it says medium, a place to read and write big ideas and important stories. So that's pretty cool, right? So how does it work? Well, before I get into this, I can show you an example of how this would be useful. So over here is this website called albert.io, and it's a website where people practice courses for tests. So over here, I'm gonna navigate to test prep, scroll down to computer science, AP computer science, go into problem analysis. Here's a typical problem. So with this website, they want you to be able to focus on simply solving the problems. So you're not able to click on the screen and copy any of the code. Hear that sound? That's my mouse clicking on the screen. So I can't copy any of this text on screen. Well, if I use a strategy strategy I just did earlier, I simply do control, I mean, co yeah, command shift four, draw a box around the text. And then I click on it, I click done. And now I can simply Go over here in the text editor, wait about five seconds, and then do command V. And I can paste the text. Uh, let's do another example. So let's say I want to copy these bits of text here. Well, if I click on it, it'll lead me to a link. Well, if I do the same thing I did earlier, command shift four, then I can simply copy all this taste, uh, copy all this text by drawing a box around it. And now that the screenshot is done, I can click done. And now if I want to paste the text, I simply need to open up a text editor and then do command V. And here it is, all the text. Pretty cool, right? Well, now it's time for me to show you how exactly this works. So here's how it works. Right now, if I open up the terminal, you'll see that I have this program called screenshot OCR running. Now if I stop this program, then what I did earlier with the screenshots won't work anymore. So let's take a look at this uh, screenshot OCR. So I'm going to navigate over to applications, uh, go into screenshot OCR, CD screenshot OCR, and then I'm going to open the folder. So here's a folder. And this is my screenshot OCR sh uh, shell script. And here's the text. Uh, this is the code. And so let's take a look at the code. So before we do that, hide this. And then I'll move this to the side, open up a text editor, and then I can drag the shell script here into the text editor. So this is our code. So basically what the code does, it's is that it's gonna search the desktop. So right here, this is the desktop. It's going to search the desktop for any screenshots and then it's going to look for the newest screenshot within the desktop and it's going to read the text from that screenshot. So in this case, the newest bit of text 
is this one because it is from 2000, uh, 2019 uh, 08 and this is 8.03 while this is 5.57 so clearly this is the oldest and this is the newest so it takes the newest folder uh, newest picture it opens it up and reads all the text and then it moves it to your clipboard that way um, after processing um, when you open up a new a new tab anywhere you can just do a simply paste and this script over here the screenshot OCR shell script it runs every five seconds so it, it sleeps it says sleep five meaning it runs every five seconds so every five seconds it checks upon the desktop to make sure there's the newest picture and then it reads the text and moves the text to the to the clipboard and that way I can paste it but to get the script running you just have to make sure you run the you, you have to make sure that the script is running and over here I added this screenshot um, screenshot OCR dot sh to my path so wh what do I mean well here's what I mean if right now we were to open uh, go back to the home file or the home directory and I were to open up the bash profile over here you'll notice that at the very bottom I set an alias for the screenshot OCR meaning every single time I am to type the alias screenshot OCR which I did all the way up here at the top this is equivalent to a call to this particular screenshot which I saved in users Jonathan Lee application screenshot OCR slash screenshot OCR dot sh don't worry about this so much but well, the point is this screen uh, this script can really help you in copying text on screen that that you simply can't cop copy normally so if you want to use this script for your own computer all you need to do is simply copy this bit of code that I have up here um, this screenshot dot sh uh, make sure it is running and then after it is running then every time you take a screenshot on your Mac um, this only works for Mac then it'll do what we just did which is whatever text you copy let's say I were to copy this bit of text right here whatever bit of text you copy it reads the newest screenshot and then it copies to your clipboard and then you can just do a control V or a command V it takes a while to process remember it's every five seconds I'll try that again command V still takes a while how about we try again well actually it doesn't work because we don't have screenshot OCR running so let's try it with the screenshot OCR running so now that it is running officially we can do uh, we can do a command V and then it simply pastes the code yeah so simply to get set up make sure you have the script make sure it's running and then you can do what I just did and if you don't want this code running every five seconds make sure you kill the script and that's how it works so I hope this video helped in helping you find out how to copy the text on screen when it is not copyable so that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoy.